Hello beautiful people. If you are new here, my name is Joe. If you are not new here, welcome back to my channel. So I am currently in the middle of the series series on my channel, but I figured why not take a little bit of a break and do my reaction video to my March 2018 book haul. I have no idea what's going to be in this video. I have absolutely no clue, but we're going to find out together. Um, this is a nice little experiment for me, but without further ado, let's check out what I was hauling five years ago. Hey, let's up you guys my name is Joe and welcome back to my channel so today is going to be my March book haul so the first book that I got in March was the city of brass by S.A. Chakraborty I think I'm trying to make it more fancy than it is the only thing I know about this book is it's about this girl who accidentally summons a Jin warrior and then shenanigans ensue that's literally still all I know about that book I I don't think I own it. This is my adult high fantasy shelf. Um, I don't see it. I did not read it. I unhauled it. I think I tried to read it once or twice and didn't get very far into it, like 30 to 80 pages, somewhere around there. That's a couple of random numbers, but you know what I mean. And I put it down. And I think I tried it twice and I didn't end up reading it. So yeah, I've heard so many good things about this book. Okay, maybe I'll read it soon. Maybe I won't read it soon. You never know with me. Yeah, <laughs> you fucking liar. <laughs> maybe I'll read it soon. Not likely. Maybe I won't read it soon. Yeah, <laughs> you still haven't read it. It's been five years. What is your definition of soon? Cry Wolf and Hunting Ground by Patricia Briggs. These are the first two books in the Alpha and Omega series. The Alpha and Omega series is like a spinoff of the Mercy Thompson series. Yeah, I read those. I remember reading Cry Wolf and I liked it even better than the Mercy Thompson series. Yeah, I read Hunting Ground and I rated it three stars. I guess I didn't like that one as much as the first one, but I remember really, really liking Cry Wolf. And then I got the last five books in the Mercy Thompson series. Rivermarked, Frostburned, Night Broken, Fire Touched, and Silence Fallen. This series is an urban fantasy adult series. There's vampires, there's werewolves, there's fae, there's skinwalkers, there's ghosts, there's sorcerers, there's witches. See, this is where we get into trouble with the Mercy Thompson series. What the hell is that? Do I have a delivery today that I forgot about? Here I am just talking to myself and in the midst of a delivery. So like I said in my last haul, um, I hauled, I think the first five books in the Mercy Thompson series in February of 2018. And here are the last five. I've only read the first five and they're still on my shelf because it is a series that I would like to revisit in the future. But as forementioned, I have no concept of time. We'll talk about it in another five years, okay? Letters to the Lost by Bridget Kim Kimmerer. Camera. I have no idea. This book follows this girl whose mother has died, I believe, and she kind of writes letters to her mom and puts it on her grave. This guy finds it, reads the letters, and starts writing back to it. I did read Letters to the Lost. I rated it five stars on Goodreads. I remember enjoying it. I don't think I have it anymore. If I do, it's hiding from me. I have no idea. Hunted by Megan Spooner. I have been dying to read this book. This is supposed to be like a- She's been dying. She's been dying. She's been thirsting for this book for five years because I still haven't read it. After I read Akatar, I was looking for something similar to Akatar. This is another Beauty and the Beast type of retelling. I bought it in the bargain section at my local Books A Million because that was where I literally, I pretty much camped out at the bargain section at Books A Million. I was there three or four times a week and I didn't read it and I unhauled it. It's gone. It has disappeared. Gemina by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. This is the sequel to Illuminae, the second book in the Illuminae Files. Obsidio just came out. I still have read Gemina, but you know, maybe we'll, you know, fix that soon. I don't know. I do. I know. We did not fix that soon. Uh, it's still on my shelf. I really, really enjoyed Illuminae when I read it. I listened to it via audiobook and read it at the same time. Oh my god, was it an amazing book. I have Gemina. I, I haven't read Gemina. I definitely want to. I feel like I need to reread Illuminae though. I haven't read it, but those books are so freaking cool. They're so cool. I love, 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 loved the Illuminae Files. I talked about it in my best books of winter, you know? Yeah, I love, 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 loved it so much that I have not continued the series. <laughs> Aragon by Christopher Paolini. This is the first book in the inheritance cycle. From all I know about this is it's about this boy named Aragon who finds this dragon egg and he kind of raises the dragon and wants to become kind of, what's it called? A dragon master? A dragon rider. He wants to become a dragon rider. Aragon. She's right here. <sighs> She's right here. 
I've definitely heard amazing things about it. When I was in middle school, I was more into the Harry Potter Twilight scene than the Aragon scene, but I remember people loving this book. I definitely want to read it, especially with the new announcement that there's gonna be a new book in the series coming out. I still have it, I still own it. She's pristine. I mean, she hadn't even been cracked open yet. Children of Blood and Bone by Tomi Adeyemi. It's West African inspired, I believe, and it's about this girl who remembers when there was a lot of magic in the world, but she also remembers the day that magic was completely wiped out of the world. And so her and two other people go on this quest to kind of try and bring magic back in the world. Yeah, I loved Children of Blood and Bone. It was so good. I even read the second book and I didn't like it as much, but I remember really, really loving Children of Blood and Bone. It's a very fascinating book. The writing is great. The story was great. The pacing was a little bit off, but I remember fucking loving it. Tower of Dawn by Sarah J Maas. I'm trying to find all of these for bargain price in hardcover so that I can binge read them because I love Sarah J Maas's A Core Thorns and Roses series and I hate waiting for sequels and series so I haven't started the Throne of Glass series. Guess what Joe? You found all of them in hardcover for a bargain. What I tell you I used to literally camp out at the bargain section in Books A Million. I literally used to camp out. I bought every single one of these up until Kingdom of Ash in the bargain section at Books A Million. Kingdom of Ash I found this baby this special edition at the Goodwill right beside the Books A Million. You found them all for bargain and you read the whole damn series and you loved it. You've read it twice twice now. Isn't that crazy? And then the last book that I got this month is actually another <clears throat> sequel to a book that I haven't read, but that is God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. I am so excited to read this book. I'm so excited to read Nevernight. I'm actually going to be putting Nevernight in like a TBR jar kind of thing. That's hilarious. I always have these grand hopes of a TBR jar and I am just such a fucking mood reader. I can't. I can't just pick out something out of a random jar and be like, hmm, yeah, sounds good. Let's read it. No, it's right here. Can you see it? God's grave. She's right here. I haven't read it. I did read Nevernight and I did really freaking enjoy it. I just never continued with God's Grave. I don't know what my problem was back then. I have no idea. But again, it is a series that I would love to revisit. So that was my 2018 book haul. I think we're seeing a theme at this point. I really don't think I was reading the books that I was buying on the majority. I think that is the result of this experiment thus far. But that is all I have for you guys today. If you have not already, please make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you have a fucking fantastic day, gorgeous, and I will see you next time. So yeah, these are all the books that I bought in the month of March. That's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time. Buh, 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 bye. Yeah.